An immigration officer has come out to testify against his colleagues not only about the number of Bureau of Immigration agents involved in the pastillas modus, but also the amount of money that allegedly changed hands. Marian Enriquez has the details. Immigration officer Alison Alex Chong started working in the Bureau of Immigration in 2012, where he checks the travel documents of arriving and departing Naia passengers. He claims to have witnessed money exchange hands for the unimpeded passage at the airport. This became more widespread in 2016, when overtime pay for immigration officers were disallowed. To cope with the substantial reduction, Chong said some immigration officers began offering VIP services to visiting casino high rollers. 2,000 pesos for each high roller in exchange for the latter's convenient and seamless immigration. In 2017, Chong noticed a dramatic increase in the number of Chinese nationals entering the airport at around 2,000 a day. He said there was even a Viber group with a master list of names who will be allowed entry at 10,000 pesos per person. Bandang una, binabalot pa yan sa bank paper. Tapos nagtatawanan yung mga tao pag binibigay mukha daw ang pastillas. Ang tawag pa nga dyan, pag sulduhan na, pastillas time. Chong said even Chinese fugitives are being accommodated in the pastillas scheme. So it's paid by yung rate? From what I have heard, it ranges from around 50 to 200,000. Pag mga high profile po, your honor, million million po yun. Chong admitted that he was previously involved in the modus without the need to testify when he saw the rise of Pogo-related prostitution. Chong named three chiefs of the Travel Control Enforcement Unit and a former Ports Operation Division chief as being involved in the scheme. They took control of the collections from entering and departing passengers, then disbursed commissions at the end of every week. Chong is now applying for witness protection under the DOJ. President Duterte has relieved all immigration officials and employees involved in the Pastilla scheme. As a grave form of corruption which cannot and will never be countenanced by this government. As we have repeatedly stressed, there are no sacred cows in this administration. Former immigration officials were invited to attend the Senate's next hearing. For News 5, Marian Enriquez, we are One News.